Today, from Mexico City, it's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. Mexico City Golden Eagles taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Godden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be. Conference championship. 30 yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before. Throwing now is Geno. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 10. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Smith. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, on is Evan McPherson in the Bengal field goal unit. A 33-yarder from the left hash. McPherson's kick is good. And the back. So you feel good about it yourself. You get to the sidelines. The defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate. The team, yeah, they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoff and getting points on the board right away. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6'4". If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're... They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 30. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air, escaping the pressure. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And the Bengals grab it, and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's picking in seven. Geno now to throw to mix it on the check down. And he's going to be taking completion here now, third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. What a great effort there. He's going to get this in. So penalty, just an incomplete pass. 
Third and two, Smith. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Bengals. Hayden Hurst, a five-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change. Eight yards, and it's second and two. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. Dances by him. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Back to back. In now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. Well, the element of surprise was there. All right, there's no doubt about it. For us, maybe, but not for the guy. Now a first down throw. It's Smith into a double team, and it's intercepted. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. It had been a near-perfect beginning to this football game. Already a double-digit lead first quarter, but their first misstep. And you know how it is, partner. Sometimes when everything's going right, you start to feel like you can do just about anything you want on the field. This one didn't work out. If I were him, I'd go to my defensive captain and say, pick me up, my man. Help me out. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Second and 11. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Bengals grab it. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes... Adam Downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. I thought that was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play... He so on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. With confidence and matches what was Tom Dempsey's 43-year NFL record at one point of 63 yards. Yeah, I can still see that highlight of Dempsey making that kick, and nowadays we see it a little bit differently because, remember, Dempsey was a straight-on kick. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they get him down, but not before he hangs it. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. You'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And now, you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. Here's Pierce, is into the end zone. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. 
and they got it done. The two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Back to throw, Smith. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And a nickel on third and long. Now Gino. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Three. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Pierce will try to pick it up, and he's going to have the... Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and then try a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And yeah, this pass broken up. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. A fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, Smith. Buying time to his left. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Give him a little extra. Eight of five on the completion. And that will bring up second down. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll be brought down this time at the five. They'll give it to Mixon. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the second and goal from the one. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown. Back in 14. He'll look to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And they're able to get down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Keenan Allen from 21 yards away. And the Golden Eagles are back within a score. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And a powerful stiff arm. It frees him. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 40. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Smith on third down. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. And he's just like that one we saw there. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. He finds his target, Allen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Our halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home that Lamar Hunt trophy. 
and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well. And it's going to be one heck of a battle, that's for sure. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half and the right to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl as I'm privileged to hand things back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. They'll come out throwing here on first down. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And he's taken down. But he didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll be brought down just shy of field. They'll drop the throw. And Cooks hands it over the middle. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he's got another first. Hooked up there for a first down. That's complete. It's Collins. And he back to throw again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to look. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Golden Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're the big... Throwing now is Gino. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he is going to... Smith being chased out left. He will find his man Chase complete. Now it's Smith. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And he'll be brought down. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's brought down, but not before three. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Smith. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but he's on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Mixon will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They're going to run the football. The Deets knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. And he will find the end zone here, and the lead moves up to seven. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Smith now to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. After the penalty, first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. It's the fullback. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And from the one-yard line, they didn't try and reinvent the wheel, do anything cute. They just gave it to the big back. You almost get the sense that if you can't get it in from the one-yard line, with your big guy. He'll drop to throw. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40. Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. 
Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Open man there is Collins complete. And it's not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Golden Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense. Cards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Smith. Quick slant caught by Chase. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at 30. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's underneath to Pierce. And he's got it past the 30. On play action, they'll throw. This is caught. It's Cooks. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he'll get it down on the play to the 30 and 5. Looking to throw. Got a man. It's Collins complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 20. He'll look to throw. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. 19 yards on the pickup there. And now they'll have it first and goal. They'll set up a throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Cheetah Bay Alouzie with a pick. And... After the interception, here's Smith. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back, which is exactly what that penalty does. Now they send a man in motion right. Pierce Pierce will take it in. Touchdown. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. They're down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and nine. Now whistles and a flag. And I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Now Gino. Disaster there, resulting in a loss of seven on third down. Looking down, that was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's taken. They'll look to throw now on first down. Complete. Smith has it. And he is out of bounds, but not before. Secondary any week is evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. They go back to the ground now with Penny. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their team. 
They'll run here with Pierce. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Damian Pierce saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Golden Eagles have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long... Smith, pass complete, Thomas. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now it's Smith. Connecting with Nixon. Seven yards there and a first down. Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Steps away to his left. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And he will get out of bounds to stop the clock as he picks up maybe eight, and that's all. Now Smith. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. Timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Smith now to throw. There's Judy. What a grab that was. Down inside the 10. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 39 yards there, a big one. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And that changes everything here in OT. down coming here's a play fake as they set up to throw and that will be incomplete on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated Smith throwing again over the middle here to Brown. And he... From the gun to give to Mixon. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone. Sports. And the kick is good. He got it. And with that, they are off to the Super Bowl. Charles, oh so close on one side to getting to that Super Bowl. Oftentimes, we just show the stage and the glitz and the glamour and the confetti. You sometimes forget about those guys going home. It's got to be tough. It's got to be beyond tough because finding a way to steal yourself, make that resolve to come back and do it again because it took a lot of work just to get to this point. It's going to be a difficult offseason for them. Let's see how they bounce back. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.